Welcome to Bon Air. I'm so excited to be here. It looks like it's gonna be a nice day. It took us two days from Miami to get down here. So we did the embarkation day, then two sea days. So finally we get to get off the ship today. And it's been nothing but kind of windy. Uh, someone in the comments had before had mentioned that, yeah, it's a, it's a windy trip this time of year and you were right. So the wind was anywhere between like 30 to 40 knots. And it seems like today it's calmed down and we're gonna have a nice day. We're doing some snorkeling. We're doing the sea cow excursion through Viator or Viator and we're bringing our friends along and we're gonna do some snorkeling today. such a beautiful island so far and all the uh, love all the colors of the buildings I love that these islands do that I love learning about the history as well I don't know if the video will catch it but like see if you can try to capture how blue this water is like you could see the rocks yeah even here yet yeah. no you're picking it up a little bit <laughs> but I can't wait water I've ever seen yeah I can't wait till the sun's really out then we'll see it even more we're just headed to get uh, coffee before we get off the ship but a good question um, was that our friends were asking us was uh, what to bring with you when you leave the ship. So you should, we're bringing along with us today, we're bringing a snorkel mask. The masks that they provide in snorkel excursions are kind of kind of crappy. And so we're bringing the full face mask coverage and the one you can go underwater. So that's optional. Um, we're bringing our cruise towel. Generally, the uh, wherever you're going, you'd have to like pay for a towel or if you're going to an all inclusive, it's just good to have the towel with you. You just want to make sure that you don't, don't lose it. it. Yep. And we bring some cash. You bring your ID and your C pass. And it depends on, this one's kind of like, uh, maybe controversial or just like, you know, people go both ways, but we actually will bring our passport. Uh, now we don't need it, especially if it's a closed loop sailing from the United States, you can just bring your ID, but uh, we bring our passport just in case, like oh, if something were to happen, we got stuck on the island, well, at least we can get home. But there is that risk that, um, it gets either damaged or uh, you lose your bag. So we actually put our passport in a, in a plastic seal just in case, especially for something like if we're doing a, an excursion near the water today, like we're gonna make sure that it's protected. What else do we bring? I brought your plugs for me. Yeah, <laughs> ear plugs. a little sensitive to water. Yeah, um, and we're just bringing little small things like, again, we're doing the, the snorkeling excursion, so we're bringing a change of clothes for, to do things afterwards. But your main uh, things you wanna bring, if you at least have what we list already, you'll be fine. I did want to mention as well, it's also good to bring any uh, excursion information um, because you may not have access to Wi-Fi or anything like that. So I'd probably print all your excursion information before getting on the cruise ship. But if you have the Wi-Fi package or things like that, just make sure you've you know, added it to your Apple wallet or something like that. Hey everyone, we forgot to turn the microphone on here. So what I think I was trying to say was that it was just a quick five to 10 minute cab ride over. Everything was really easy to find. They had some signage out. It was super easy to follow. As you can see, it was a quick little walk over to the Sea Cow excursion. And I can't wait to show you the footage. If uh, we included a lot of uh, snorkeling footage, so if you ever just want to skip ahead, uh, feel free to do so, but I uh, hope you enjoy. First stop is uh, Flying Bon Air. We're gonna do three different stops there. Really professional service so far, really friendly, and uh, really glad. You know it's a good place when all the locals are here, so. Yeah, we should have brushed up on our Dutch. Yeah. <laughs> This was such a wonderful experience. The video really doesn't do it any justice. We ended up buying the photo package from one of the guides there who had a professional underwater camera. I'm gonna sprinkle those in throughout the footage just to show you guys what it really looked like. We had an amazing time and enjoy the footage.
We're about to build them. And we're back. We're back. Yeah, we just did the uh, sea cow snorkeling. It was amazing. Amazing. The, the coral, the fish, everything. I hope you guys enjoyed some of the footage. The but service on the ship was the best yeah. ever. Yeah, super prof professional. They had snacks, uh, rum punch, um, just a really professional service. They were really good at delivering like the information. Mm -hmm. The lady there Gia. who ran that Gia was, yeah, really good. Making sure everyone was taken care of and everyone felt comfortable uh, with the excursion. And everything we felt super safe. Like oh, yeah. they had, you know, life jackets. They made, they put on your mask. Made sure the seal was there. They put on the, your flippers and took them off for you. Mm -hmm. So we would recommend getting the full face um, snorkeling masks. They're just a little bit more comfortable. You can breathe a little easier. Yeah, you and they really... don't and they don't fog up. Yeah, but it's up to you. You don't have to. They provide the snorkel equipment. But yeah, just the whole experience, like this is a must do uh, here in Bonaire. Like you have to try the snorkeling. And uh, from talking to them as well, they're like, there's not too much else to do in Bonaire, so. We were like, what do we do while we're here? And they're like, you did it, you snorkeled. Because <laughs> yeah. there's not a ton of shopping, there's not a ton of beaches. So snorkeling is, you have to do it. Yeah, and our friends had an amazing time and it's, the weather's great, so the definitely. Other, the other good thing to note is if you're not a fan of snorkeling, you can still come on this boat. You could do the first part of snorkeling, which is about 40 minutes, and it's more reef focused, less fish focused. And then you have an option to get back in the water for more of a fish focused snorkel. So you don't have to do both segments. You can literally stay on the boat. You don't ever have to get in the water. Yeah, there were about two 45 minute periods. So it is like a longer period but of time, but you, you have a guide with you the whole time. And you should get and, in the water. It's and so beautiful. Yeah. You can also get back on the boat if you're feeling like uh, overworked well. or anything or not well. We'll also put a link in the description below for the tour that we took. I would say hands down, they're like already number one on TripAdvisor and- We're gonna uh, keep them there. We booked on Viator and uh, either way, great, the sea great cow. tour. I even messaged them before uh, and they got back to me like right away. So it was really good. Very responsive, very good tour, not far from the ship. Like just yeah. a great, great experience. Uh, we still have a couple hours, so. And we have two friends that did not come on this snorkeling tour, so we might go meet up with them. We're not sure. Yeah, we could meet up with them. We could see if there's any kind of shopping. I always like to grab that souvenir. If you remember, I like to pick up a shot glass <laughs> or something like that, and uh, we'll just see what else is out there, and yeah, uh, we'll let you guys know along the way. Stopped at what's this place called? Um, El Mundo. El Mundo. Yeah. By the cruise port, just for some uh, drinks on the way back to the ship. There's some construction going on nearby, but generally it's a nice little vibe. Good Wi Fi speed. And Kayla's gonna try her banana daiquiri. The banana daiquiri is really good. It's really fresh, but a better drink is what I convinced my girlfriend to, Kate to order. It was a iced cappuccino smoothie with rum chata. <laughs> like I'm regretting my order and immediately want to get what she got. But this banana yeah. daiquiri is super good. So not bad on air, not bad. Not bad. Good weather, good snorkeling, good drinks. Yeah, Kayla, they yeah, they didn't end up bringing her food and we just like decided to go, so. Yeah, it's uh, the world telling me I don't need to eat any more on this trip. Yeah. <laughs> Plus we were okay with it because we're going to Giovanni's tonight, oh. so yeah, I know we're gonna order one of everything, so Literally. it's probably for the best. <laughs> Honestly, it's she knew. Yeah, I'm gonna see if I can talk to the port security and do the uh, drone footage, but when I did a quick Google search, it said that drones weren't allowed in Bonaire, so no, we'll, we'll try see. It tomorrow, and then I think we might be able to do it in Aruba. So. Yeah. So, 
The port security said I could do the drone, but as soon as I loaded up the drone app, um, the drone has like a GPS like warning system and it basically said uh, restricted fly zone so it automatically landed me after like two seconds. So no drone footage but I hope the other footage uh, will suffice and we'll see what we can get on another day. Maybe Aruba, maybe Curacao, we'll see. But I will get some drone footage of this ship. And believe it or not we are not done with the sun. We are <laughs> going. Hey, I wore a long suit today so I'm good. Yeah, I went to, we're going to the pool deck and my back got lit up today from the sun even though we sunscreened i guess when you're snorkeling though like it's just beaming down on your back for the whole time the so, so yeah like the water attracts the sun. so i'm looking forward to my early birthday gift but we'll uh show you Spoiler. when when she gives it to me i was gonna give it to him on his actual birthday on thursday but then i saw his back today and i was like eek maybe, maybe i tomorrow. should have given that to you <laughs> this morning yeah <laughs> Another specialty dining in the books. Mm. Giovanni's did not disappoint. That was amazing. I'm so full. I can't move or <laughs> think or breathe. <laughs> yeah, they we they do like family style there. So we had like literally everything on the menu. It was amazing. I like missed it. I want to go back. But I can't think about it right now. But I yeah. tomorrow. Ask me again tomorrow. Yeah, and we still got a Zoomy, and we're probably gonna go to the Zoomy twice this week. So. A lot of eating on this cruise, but that's okay. Tomorrow we're gonna have the uh, we're gonna be in Curacao and we're doing an all-inclusive resort, uh, the Sunscape Resort. So we'll show you guys everything there is to know about that. And uh, if you like everything you saw today, if you had a good time watching, please like and subscribe. We appreciate it a lot, and uh, it's a free way to support the channel. And uh, thank you so much. But we'll say good night to you here for now. So uh, we'll see you tomorrow in Curacao. Bye. Night.